Hey guys and dolls, it's your favorite girl, Chris Styles. If you're wondering what's happening in the world of one black woman entertainment tonight, I like that. You see this line behind me? Strange Love is premiering. We did the red carpet coverage, and you know what? We talked to some amazing and very funny people. So keep it locked with your favorite girl right here on the world of one black woman entertainment. Remember when we got married? You told me that you were going to buy us a house. Don't you got a cousin in real estate? Because I need some help finding a new house. Are oh, you talking about Ray? Ray Tyler? You call him, you tell him my city, he's going to look out for you. This show, Megan. What is my cousin's name again? This house right here, baby, is our dream house right here. Wait a minute. <laughs> How much is this house? Hey, I'll take credit cards, right? We do. We take everything. That's right. That's what I do. This house is so gorgeous. I love it. Get the hell out. Mr. Green? Yeah, I'm Mr. Green, bro. Oh, what's up, Jim? My nice looking oh, friend oh, there. Oh, oh. <gasps> what kind of African have shit you want, baby? How'd you just do that? I'm alive, like you a ghost. We're together now. It looked like masturbation because I'm by myself. I thought she was a ghost. What the hell are you talking about, man? <laughs> Yo, man! Girl, you right. This house is haunted. You think? Timmy! You still living there? I heard you were looking for a ghost hunter. I think I can help you get rid of all those supernatural beings in your house. Are you done? Because you sound crazy. Move, bitches. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitches. Get out the way. Oh, shoot! Oh. All that I have sacrificed to you? Just let me Who is she? What's the bitch name, Deshaun? Damn. <gasps> Wait, but... So you put your hands on me now? Hell no, my Wait, hands right here. Country Wayne. Yeah. Now, of course, everybody knows you for your comedy skits. Uh -huh. Now you've put together a script, an entire script. First, how did you come up with this concept? Oh, yeah, they sent, they sent me the concept, so I just made a few changes. I seen the comedy in it where I started off doing comedy, so and I um, added the relationship part with it. And I seen, I seen where it matched, where I was and where I'm at, so it just came together perfectly. All right, so Strange Love, was that their title or your title? No, actually, it was the... Uh, uh, Tressa, the one who co-executive uh, produced with me, her sister called me one night. And, uh, they called me and think, um, she said she had a dream it should be strange love. So you know me, hey, when the spirit talked, because it was in love with a ghost. Right. I was straight to the point with it, but strange love was more mysterious. It, so when you hear the title, you don't know exactly what the movie is about. So we went with strange love. I admit, when I saw the trailer, I was like, wait, I've had fantasies about this. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm just keeping it real. So tonight, you've got a lot of love tonight. People, yeah. came out, people have come out to support you. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling right now? Man, I just feel I just feel good, man. I feel good for people. I just want them to believe in themselves like I believe in me. That's all I want them to see. So, you know, if I can get people to get that feeling that I got in me and, and put it in the cup and pour it in everybody else's cup, I'm good. All right, so tell me how you became a part of this film. Well, my brother is a producer, Country Wayne, so I, I, I kind of cheated and got the role. I ain't had an audition. All right, so it's all, it is all about who you know then, right? about who you know. I'm my partner. He's like, hey, you want a role? I said, yeah. He put me in, and here we are. All right, so what did you think of the plot when you first heard about it? I like it. It's different. You know, I like to, I like to try something that, um, you know, we haven't seen before, so I like it. Do you believe it could actually happen? I believe in a lot of stuff, so I would be shocked. That you've done. What was it like being in Strange Love? It was awesome because I'm in my element with these fools right here. Country <laughs> Wayne, honey. <laughs> The whole cast was phenomenal. Oh, I bet. I can't wait to see the film. What was your favorite part? Uh, well, you know, I'm playing Lindsay, the, glo the ghost. So they got to watch out for me. Uh-oh, you a bad ghost? I, no, I'm a good ghost. Oh, you a good we ghost. We all good. Okay, yeah, we all good. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. So, from what I hear, you've done many, 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 many films, right? What was your favorite part about doing this one? Well, I got to meet a lot of famous people. It was super exciting. So what did you think about the whole idea of it being haunted? Well, the second I heard that it was a horror comedy, I was like, whoa, because I've always wanted to be in comedy. Oh, I've always wanted to be in horror. That's pretty cool. Maybe one day we can work together. Okay. That would be nice. I, I did, I think I did produce this one. Oh, you think so? 
No, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. I did. Along, along with my sister Nia, who's somewhere over here. But yeah, we definitely produced this one uh, for Mega Mind. And um, uh, I, we, like I said, we love every minute of it. I mean, nothing but pure comedy. Every poor second of the way for every day that we shot. Um, and I think that's what actually made uh, uh, us actually able to finish the project because it was nothing but fun and laughter. Country Wayne brought it, uh, Mike Bless brought it, you know, Erica brought it, and once again, oh, here's my sister right here, other producer Nia Bonds. Yes, hi guys. Hi. Uh, introduce yourself. Nia Bonds, producer for Strange Love, and yeah. we are so excited that this, is, this day has finally arrived. Yes. <laughs> so, what yeah. made you say yes to the project? Because um, she said no, and I was like, fuck it. This is, this is dope. Because nah. Tre Tressa Azarel, um, CEO of Mega Mind Productions, yeah. is that, that's one of our, that's our big that's sis. Family. That's, yeah, family. that's family. Really, yeah, and when she calls, one. we yeah, got to no respond. We ain't got no choice. Yeah. yeah. So what was your favorite part about making this film, each of you? Oh, uh, my favorite part was being in a room <laughs> with Country Wayne and Carl and Payne. Carl Payne. Yeah, that was not yeah. nonstop laughs. Those moments, laughs. Non those, moments. Laughs. those moments were amazing. Sure. Like, so like, was anybody on script or was it just all? Oh, oh it no, was it a was, lot was, of ad libs. Yeah, yeah, I feel sorry for the editor. Yeah, but it was, I'm, I'm yeah. more scripty and the editor. Yeah, I'm, I'm it was a lot of ad libs, but it was hilarious. I'm an executive producer, so I've produced several films. I did Sound of Christmas with Mega Mind. Are you excited about tonight? I am very excited. I'm a big fan of Country Wayne. I'm a big fan of uh, Mega Mind. So those two coming together, it's going to be big. So I can't wait. Yes. So you play dual roles in this film. But for me, first and foremost, the casting director. Yes. How was that process? How did you decide? Well, Country Wayne brought in a few of his people. He brought in Rolanda Rochelle. And he also um, brought in Mike Bless, who worked with him. Um, to do skits all the time, so that was like a given. And then Carl Anthony Payne actually brought in his comedic talent, and I, as I was saying, that was like one of the best moments for me to watch someone that I've watched for years, from Cockroach to to Martin, be able to watch him in action, and he was just so hilarious. So it was basically doing, you know, working with Country Wayne and who he wanted. And then we went out and seek some other talent to break down Express. We also went into um, uh, Clubhouse. We did some auditions with Clubhouse. Wow, how, how does that work? We just we we just need to hear you. Okay. If you can bring it, you know what I mean. We didn't have to visually see you. If you can bring it and we can hear it, and we picked one of the girls from there. The girl who plays Candy, who plays his assistant, got the job just from that. That's fantastic. Okay, right now I'm gonna act like a groupie. <laughs> Okay. It's all good. Yeah, now nah, it's, it's out of my good. system. So What's up, girl? Hey, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Support my boys, yes. yes. When you say your boys, who specifically? Country Wayne and my who? my Country Wayne and my boy Ibrahim, who's one of the producers on this show. So I'm really excited about this movie. So That's fantastic. Up. I just came to support my, my people, you know, Mike and Amber and Country Wayne, you know, they're good people, you know. They're That's my dog, straight up. You know what I'm saying? I did a few um skits with them, but I think that the most beautiful thing is when you can support your people in, in this industry, especially people who started out on their own independent and can't control their own narrative. I'm always- Oh, I am. All my beautiful, amazing people are in this role, country wing, everybody, so look forward to it. First and foremost, you all know my motto was create, don't wait, and I'm super proud of Wayne and the entire team for putting their own money, resources, and ingenuity together and creating their own projects. Atlantis needs to see more of this, creating our own tables right here in the city of Atlanta, so I'm super honored to be here and support the entire team. And I'm actually here to enjoy this film, but am in the Country Wayne skits with Wayne. Yes. Um, and it's been such a beautiful blessing. He as a person, a producer, a director, a creator. It's really great to be a part of something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am also a part of the Country Wayne skits. We're not in the movie, but we are definitely in the Wayne's world. Over here at Support and Strange Love tonight, you know, it's a big cast, a big crew, and they did their thing. But we're also repping another project that's a part of uh, Megamind Media, which is A Taste of Betrayal. So we just wrapped on that project. We're just here spreading love. Strange love, but spreading love. Spreading strange love. That works. This is one black woman entertainment, and I love it. The energy was great. She was her. She was fearless. And that's what a black woman is about. Yes. All right, guys and dolls, that's a look at Strange Love right now on Amazon Prime. Prime. Make sure you like, love, and subscribe to the world of One Black Woman Entertainment.